everybody was uh, uh, hopelessly and irremediably stupid. While the grape juice ferments, it produces CO2, and that lifts all the skins and seeds to the top of the vat, creating a really thick cap, um, hat. And we've got to punch that down. So we've got this cylindrical pitchfork thing, and And we push. We, we gotta push hard. While a lot of vats only have a sort of small porthole at the top, uh, these tanks are designed with floating lids, or chapeau flottant, as the French call them. These lids are on a pulley system that allow us to uh, adjust the height of the cuve. So if we want that tank to be half full, we can lower the lid to be half the size. If we want to punch down the cap, we can entirely remove the lid and uh, therefore get a much easier punch down job than if we had a tiny little porthole. Technique. Uh, I guess you go in pie slices, in theory, most of the time, we don't really do that. But I'll show you what the pie slice looks like if you do stick to the, the theoretical side. You do a pie slice, or, or as the French here call it, the camembert. Um, <laughs> and that wedge is supposed to make it easier because the walls will fall into it. In reality, nothing about this is easy. <laughs> I don't think there's a whole lot more to say about the, the camembert, but uh, the more astute of you may have noticed that this is a large cube, and the bijel, the, the little stick we're using, isn't that long. So the best way to go about getting that second half is climbing out on that little passerelle, little platform that my dad's on, and uh, that way you can keep your center of gravity right above the spot you're working on. You don't want to be leaning too far forward fall into the vat of wine. It's a good way to die, but we're not ready. 